With her platinum blonde bouffant and hourglass figure, Dolly Parton's look is as legendary as her music. But while her sound has remained consistent over the decades, her appearance has evolved. Her glamorous style and age-defying beauty have sparked rumors about plastic surgery for years. Though she's been surprisingly candid, details do remain shrouded in mystery. Join Facts First as we unravel the intricacies of Dolly Parton's transformative style journey. Early Life and Natural Hair Dolly grew up poor in rural Tennessee as one of 12 children. Though life was challenging, her musical gifts were apparent early on. She shared that she started coloring her naturally blonde hair as soon as she could afford peroxide, eager to go even blonder. In 1964, after finishing high school, she left her small hometown and headed to Nashville to pursue a career in music. According to Parton, she met future husband Carl Dean on that very first day in Nashville. Though new to the city's vibrant music scene, Parton's powerful singing voice and songwriting talents quickly impressed industry insiders. Within a few years, her budding career gained momentum. By 1967, she was invited to perform on the Porter Wagoner show, replacing his longtime female vocalist Norma Jean. But her first televised performance of Dumb Blonde was met with boos and a backlash from fans more accustomed to Norma Jean's style. Wagoner himself had to advocate for audiences to give Parton a fair chance, which they eventually did. At the time, female country artists faced immense pressure to have a wholesome, demure look and sound. But Parton steadfastly refused to conform to these restrictive norms or tone down her glamorous, over-the-top aesthetic. Despite being advised early on to dial back her flamboyant look, Parton stayed true to her vision. She believed that if her songs were good enough, people would recognize her talents regardless of her appearance. With her bouffant wigs, curve-hugging outfits, and stilettos, Parton developed a bold signature style all her own. But she also pushed boundaries in her honest, empowering songwriting, bringing women perspectives to country music. The Inspiration Behind the Wigs Dolly has been open about the origins of her signature over-the-top wigs, tracing their inspiration to a unique source, a local prostitute from her small hometown in Tennessee. According to Parton, when she was young, there was a woman in her town who worked as a prostitute and who Parton considered the most beautiful woman she'd ever seen. This woman, who Parton refers to as the Painted Lady, made a strong impression on her with her bold look. Parton explains that when she was developing her own iconic style, she actively modeled her after this woman from her childhood. She wanted to create a look that was flashy, glamorous, and eye-catching, just like the town's prostitute was to her as a young girl. For some, it may come as a surprise that America's sweetheart Dolly based her appearance on a local prostitute. But this anecdote speaks volumes about her spirit of nonconformity. She's never been afraid to buck convention or create her own rules, even if it shocks some. She says she saw beauty and artistry in this woman that others dismissed. While the prostitute was shunned by mainstream society, Parton could recognize the creativity and flair behind her presentation. Above all, Parton has never let other people's notions of how a woman should look or behave define her. The town prostitute served as her muse because of her courage to transgress. The Practical Perks of Wigs Dolly has also spoken about the very practical benefits of wearing wigs. For her busy lifestyle and demanding career, she finds them incredibly convenient. She's explained that wigs allow her to change up her look quickly and easily. She can go from long, flowing hair one day to a shorter, sassy style the next. Wigs give her endless options for reinventing her image while always keeping her hair camera-ready. Even when she's not performing, she still wears wig-like hair pieces at home for convenience. She says she likes to keep her hair built up in a teased style as much as possible, though she wears her real hair in a simple ponytail around the house. But she still pops on makeup and wig pieces to make maintain her glamorous dolly look. Parton has joked that one major perk of wigs is she never has a bad hair day. No matter what activities she engages in, from meet and greets to roller coasters, her wig always stays perfectly quaffed and in place. According to one talk show host's account, Parton even goes so far as to conceal her microphone battery pack inside a hidden wig compartment. This keeps her waist looking as slim as possible while performing. Dolly has given her fans a rare glimpse of what she looks like without her signature wig, 
wigs and over-the-top style. Though she's renowned for her platinum blonde bouffant and glamorous outfits, Parton has natural shoulder-length hair that she sometimes puts in that simple ponytail. But even all natural, her warm smile and vivacious spirit shine through. While the wigs might seem like just another part of Parton's excessive persona, she has legitimate practical reasons for relying on them. They're not just flashy accessories, they're also creative tools and time-saving hacks. Her wigs as a feminist symbol while Dolly has resisted labeling herself as a feminist, her over-the-top wigs have become symbols of empowerment for many women. Parton developed her look in an era when women in entertainment were expected to appear demure and wholesome. Her sky-high wigs, full glam makeup, and curve-accentuating outfits challenged those norms. Rather than conforming to how society said a Southern woman should present herself, Parton took ownership of her sexuality and femininity. She crafted her image on her own terms, refusing to downplay her curves curves, or larger-than-life charisma. According to those who have worked with Parton, she conducted herself as a consummate professional despite her exaggerated look. Her wardrobe did not stop her from competing in a male-dominated industry. Parton proved a woman could celebrate her feminine identity to the fullest while still commanding respect. She showed the world that glitz, glamour, and girl power could go hand-in-hand. While some may have written her off early on due to her appearance, she chose to lean into the caricature. She took ownership of the dumb blonde stereotype and revealed the innate intelligence behind it. Candid Comments on Cosmetic Procedures Dolly has never been shy about discussing the cosmetic procedures she's undergone to maintain her youthful appearance. She's been candid about getting breast implants, eyelid lifts, facelifts, injectable fillers, and other enhancements. She got her first breast augmentation in the late 70s and has lightly joked she wouldn't be dumb enough to deny having implants. She often kids that her famous bosom is real expensive and enhanced to be real big. While she has adjusted her breast size over the years, she says she ultimately settled on a size that's proportional for her petite frame. She's also upfront about regularly using injectable fillers like Botox to smooth wrinkles. With her trademark humor, she quips that if she gets one more facelift, she'll have a beard. She's revealed she always wakes up with full hair and makeup just in case she has to make an emergency middle-of-the-night hospital trip. Her self-deprecating jokes about plastic surgery stem from wanting to poke fun at herself before others can make wisecracks. Parton reasons that people already have preconceived notions about her appearance, so she'd rather crack the jokes first first. She insists that while she may look artificial, her down-home warmth and humanity are completely authentic. Now in her 70s, she remains unapologetic about doing what it takes to maintain her looks. Now it's time to hear from you. Have your opinions on Dolly changed after watching this video? What stood out to you the most? Let us know in the comments section below.